Hi everyone, Lisa here. So, um, this is not going to be a crafty related video. Um, it's going to be uh, an update on my eight week weight loss challenge. So, if you do not want to continue to watch, I do have another video posted today and it's for the SNL challenge and it's on making Halloween treat boxes. So, if you want to check that out, just go to my next video. Uh, but the other thing, I guess I'll just jump into my little update. So I'll kind of give you a rundown of how the week went. Um, I did a video telling you on, I think it was Monday or Tuesday, about the weigh-in and the challenge and if people were interested in joining the challenge. And quite a few of you guys um, went on to the MyFitnessPal app and sent me a friend request. So thank you guys so much. That was awesome. And I love all the little support that we give each other on the app. So thank you so much for... Um, joining in the challenge that was awesome um, another thing that happened this week was um, I went out and I actually purchased um, it's a cooler slash um, heater so it plugs into your vehicle and you can either put it to cool or you can put it to warm um, the warm feature I haven't really tried out too much but the cool feature does work really well uh, but I don't normally take lunches and that's kind of one of the hard things I have a, t uh, have a hard time with is eating every three, three hours, especially when I'm on the road so much. So when I was talking with um, the instructor, the Zumba instructor, she's the one that's putting this challenge on, she suggested that I buy one of these um, heater cooler um, lunch boxes. And she's like, make sure you eat every three hours. If you have to set a timer on your phone, set a timer on your phone. But it, she goes, you will find it makes a difference. So um, I've been doing that all week long. And I kind of split a little on the weekend. Weekends are a little harder for me just because either I might sleep in a little bit later than normal or, you know, just like it's busy on the weekends. So the weekends I'm having a harder time keeping in line with it every three hours. I'm, you know, better than I have been on weekends. But um, I have been taking lunches. So one, I'm saving myself money. And two, I'm eating healthier because it was normal for me on my way out of town to go grab a coffee and grab a breakfast sandwich and head out on the road and eat that on my way. And I don't even know how many calories there are in um, one of the breakfast sandwiches from, say, like McDonald's or Tim Hortons, but I would imagine it's quite a bit. So um, I have definitely started to eat better. I eat breakfast at home. I have a snack around 1030, and then I have my lunch around 130, and then I have a snack again around 330-ish, and then I'll have supper around 630-ish, so... Every three hours, it seems like I am having a bit of a snack or uh, a lunch or something. So on the My Fitness Pal, I showed you guys that app last time. Um, it's been tracking my calories, and I must say I love the app. Um, it is a better way for me to track my food and see how much I'm eating. I had a hard time um figuring out if I was eating too much or not enough before. And with the app, it seems to be working awesome. If you guys um, don't know what app I'm talking about, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. It's called My Fitness Pal. And make sure you, um, if you're interested in joining the challenge, you check that out. That zip list right beside it, that is a grocery um, making list. And you can also use it to clip, if you go onto the website, ziplist.com, I think it is, um, you can actually clip recipes like from um, Pinterest or uh, from websites and stuff like that. And you can import them into the zip list. And um, then when you go into the um, it'll say um, add recipes from web, you click on that. And then you go to the website, you click and paste the website. It takes you to that website where that recipe is on. And then at the top, all you do is add recipe to list. And it'll just copy that whole recipe without you copying or 
clipping anything. It'll just like copy that whole recipe and put it into your zip list recipe. And then when you're ready, you can um, add all those ingredients from that recipe into your shopping list. And um, then you can meal plan that recipe into your week. So that has definitely saved me some time because before I would just print out all the recipes, write down everything, then figure out what day we were having a thing. It was just a pain in the butt. So um, it's definitely worth a look if you guys are interested. And then uh, for those of you who have iPhones, you can um, connect your zip list to your phone and um, you can go shopping with your little zip list. Okay, so I'm just going to go back. See, at the bottom here, it has lists, recipes, search, stores, discover. And in my um, grocery list, you see Monterey Jack cheese and one tablespoon of minced chipotle chili and adobo sauce. I'm sure that's how it is. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, you can definitely sync it with your web to your iPhone. And then as you check the things off on your list, um, they're from the recipe. So, I mean, you have everything in house. So that definitely has helped me um, create my recipes. However, because I'm starting to eat healthier, of course, I didn't have a lot of stuff in stock in my house. So I went grocery shopping and it was expensive very expensive. My grocery bill was over 400 and some dollars, which was astronomical. But we will see at the end of the week how much food I have left, how much I've eaten, and how much more I have to buy. I think it's just kind of one of those things is you have to probably make a lot more, you know, healthier items rather than going and purchasing stuff. Um, I did buy a couple, like, snacky, healthy snacky things just so that like if I'm on a grab and go and I don't have time to make anything, I can just throw them in my bag and they're like special K, um, or fiber one bars or stuff like that just to throw in my lunch. So, okay. Now back to the groceries. Went and I bought all those groceries and I've made a couple things out of the recipes um, if you guys want the recipes, I'll figure out somewhere where I can put them. Maybe I'll put them on the SNL design blog if people are interested. I'm not really sure where I'll put them, but I'll come up with something. Anyway, so what I've made out of the groceries, I've made, um, they're called, let me go to my list here because I can't remember what they're called. I've made chocolate chocolate brownie cups and they are healthy brownie cups. Um, I think they are roughly about a hundred calories per one. Let me just see. I have to go into my fitness pal now. I think they're roughly about, um, let me see. Oh, they're 122 calories per cup, but they're like, um, like a cupcake tin, they're about that big around, roughly-ish, and they're probably about that deep. So, like, you know the two-bite two brownies? They're, like, double the size of that for sure. And one is definitely enough for me, and they are healthy for you. So, uh, there's, like, cocoa powder. There's a lot of sugar in them. That's the only thing. But, I mean, there's probably a way to cut back the sugar. Egg whites, no egg yolks. Um, what else is in there? I don't know. There's a couple other things, but they're actually pretty good. I don't mind them. Um, then I made, um, no bake energy bites and those are 50 calories per ball. And they're probably about, I don't know, smaller than a golf ball, a little smaller than a golf ball. So they have rolled oats, honey, peanut butter, coconut, ground up flax seed, and if I didn't say honey, they have honey, and then vanilla, and you just kind of mix everything all up, and then you just form balls, roll them into a ball, and keep them in the fridge. I think they last about two weeks in the fridge, if they last that long, because they're, they're oh, and chocolate chips, they have chocolate chips in them. Semi-sweet chocolate chips is the key, because, um, 
You want to make sure you don't get milk chocolate because milk chocolate has a lot of sugar in it. Um, so semi-sweet is the key. Or dark chocolate chips, you could probably get away with too because the darker the chocolate, the better it is for you because it's got antioxidants in it. Um, what else did I make? Um, I haven't tried them yet, but they are called uh, peanut butter cups and you have whey powder, peanut butter, um, almond milk, and I can't remember what else, maybe vanilla or something like that. And you blend it all up and you put it into little cupcake um, trays and you freeze it. And so um, I haven't had them yet, but it says you can eat all six at once. You don't have to like portion it out. You can eat all six in one sitting. And it's, um, I think, 50 calories. It's very, very, very little. So what else? Um, today for breakfast, I had, it's called a fruit egg white scramble. You take, um, four egg whites, a teaspoon of cocoa powder, a third of a scoop of vanilla whey powder, and you just mix that all up. You fry it up like scrambled eggs, and then you, um, uh, put... You eat it with the strawberries, and it was really, really good. It's almost like chocolate pudding-ish. Um, keep in mind it's scrambled eggs, so it doesn't have the texture of chocolate pudding. And the strawberries, and then you can add a little bit of, I'm not sure what the, it's like, um, Splenda or something like that, like a, a sweetener, like a natural sweetener. Um, this one's called Truvia. I think there's De Stevia or whatever. I'm not sure. But anyway, if you use like a natural sweetener, you can uh, put that on top. I just put a very, very little bit on top. And so that's what I've had so far over the weekend out of what I've purchased for gro groceries. Other than that, it's been a lot of vegetables and stuff like that because I can eat as many vegetables as I want. I've, eat, I've eaten a lot of vegetables. So, um, the lows of the week. So the lows are I find certain days I'm really hungry even though I've blown through all of my calories. But when I blew through all my calories, I didn't have any vegetables to eat. I was like almost out of everything in the fridge. So I didn't have a lot to eat. So um, with that part, I had a hard time. I'm getting a little better. I am getting better at the water. Um, on an average day, I would drink anywhere from two to four cups of water per day. I'm up to about five now. So that's pretty good. The weekend, uh, you know, I dropped quite a bit on the weekend just because um, it just seems like I'm not sitting in my truck. I'm not in the routine of drinking the water and stuff like that. So I'm having a harder time on the weekend. I'm not going to lie. But other than that, I feel a lot better. I don't feel quite as bloated. Um, I know that's probably way too much information, but um, I after I had my operation in April... I've always kind of felt a little bloated after my surgery, and I think the drinking a lot of water has helped with that. Um, I did weigh myself on Thursday, Friday this week, and I have dropped two pounds, so whoo -hoo. So um, I thought that was pretty good. Um, I don't want to weigh myself every uh, day just because I think it would be a bit of a downer just in case I do gain quite a bit or, you know, versus one day to the next, your your body can fluctuate quite a bit. So I don't plan on weighing myself every day. I plan to weigh myself maybe once a week and that I'm good with. So, um, so far, week one challenges are kind of... You know, it was just kind of getting my foot in front of the other. I did go for an extra walk today, this week. So um, that was good. That was one extra exercise that I did for the for the week. Um, so what else do I want to tell you? I don't know. That's all I pretty much have. So, so far, week one's going, it went okay. 
I'm hoping that with week two, because I have the groceries in the house, I have a meal plan set aside for what I'm going to eat for the week. I'm hoping that um, I can eat a lot better, maybe feel a little fuller. So I will let you know how that goes next Sunday when I give you week two update. So anyway, thanks everybody for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.